Right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is VMP here, welcome back to the third episode of Nova Atis. Thank you guys once again for all the support and love you're showing this so far. Uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, I do apologize for <laughs> how damn long the last episode was. I know some of you guys in the comments are always like, VMP, we would watch four hour long episodes. I understand that, but I think for, you know, <laughs> most average people, four hours of footage is a bit too much. So I'm going to try to keep this one to uh, a solid... 30 to 40 minutes today. Anyhow, today, uh, we come back. Old man Cerny Banders is uh, sitting here in a tavern. He's reflecting upon, uh, you know, the last couple weeks of his life. And frankly, in order to reach his goal of gaining clout and becoming a person of note so that, you know, the influential people will actually listen to him so he can actually get a seat at the table, Manual, manual labor is just not going to cut it. These 77-year-old bones are not physically capable of chopping down enough trees and mining enough stone in order to get us there. So instead, we must resort to other methods of gaining prestige. So, what those entail <laughs> are buying and renting out properties. So, luckily, since we actually won the tournament finally at the end of last episode, we have a decent amount of cash right now. Um, we've got 20k, just about. So I'm not sure what kind of property that'll allow us to buy, but let's see what the options are here. Okay, okay. So there's a shack for a, a paltry 1,400 florins, an apartment room for 3,600, a laborer house for 9k, 23k for a patrician mansion, 45k for the noble great house, and 91k for a town palace. Obviously, we can't afford that. With our budget of 20k, I think it might be the best move for us to just buy two houses. I feel like I remember <laughs> Bernie getting being in the news for that, <laughs> like earlier this year or something when it came out that he does own like two or three houses or something like that. So this fits. This fits the, st <laughs> the story. So when we buy it for 9100, we get 45 prestige points. Boom! Thank you. Uh, and then you go here. We can visit the residence. We can actually check out what this thing's looking like. All right, all right, you know, hey, not too shabby, not too shabby. Nice little, nice little home here. Got a little uh, living room area. Nice little fireplace. Uh, we got interesting how we go straight from the living room into the seemingly storage area and workplace all in one. Okay, all right. And then is the bedroom upstairs? We've got whatever the fuck this room is, and then. The bedroom over here. This is a very strange house layout. I will be honest. Oh, that's right. There are chests in here. Yoink. All right. Getting our investment back. <laughs> this apartment does not come furnished, all right? I'm here. I'm not giving you any, any. Uh, you know. Well, I guess pottery. I guess silverware. What, ugh, what apartment would come with silverware and uh, like plates and stuff? That'd be weird. Anyhow, we are going to want to rent it out and we'll get 364 florins a week for it. So it'll pay itself back in... Yikes. I mean, less than 30 weeks, but that's still still a decent while. Alright, well, we'll keep it in there for now. Um, I kind of want to see what, a, uh, what these ones look like, if I'm being honest. Uh, am I able to sell it right away? Throw out the tenants, JK. Oh my god, you can only sell it for a fraction of what it was actually worth. Or what you actually paid for it. Yikes. Alright, so there we go. We're renting that one out again. Mmm. Mmm. I think we're just gonna buy another... No, okay. I'll go ahead and buy the shack and show you guys what that one looks like. Alright, this is the residence. This is... Okay. Well. Yep. God, this seems like a safety hazard. Just basically an open fire right here surrounded by all this wood. Okay. And then, is this your bed right here? Holy shit. This is rough. They don't, they didn't even have pottery. <laughs> I mean, I think you get, you get what you pay for when you, when you're renting out a place like this. I don't, how much can we rent this out for? 85 a week? Yeah, all right, that's not, that's not too great. Um, all right, and then the midway, the apartment room for 3,600. Boom. All right, 18 prestige points for that. I mean, it's just based on how much you pay for it. And speaking of which, the prices for these things fluctuate and go up and down. And, like, how much you can rent them out for goes up and down. Uh, so let's visit the residence. What is this apartment? Okay. Nice. Right, so we got a, got a storeroom. Lots of barrels of ale. Lots of barrels of ale. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of picturing this as, like, just in a college apartment, right? Plenty of room for alcohol. Excessive room for alcohol. 
Oh my god, and the very narrow stairway. Yep, this is uh, definitely remind me, uh, reminding me of some of my old uh, college apartments. Okay, what's so what are all these rooms on the side? And why do you have to go up like five sets of stairs in order to get to whatever the hell this is? And I guess... Oh, okay, there's the bed, there's the bed. A little spinning, spinning wheel over here. Dude, medieval college students are fucking weird, man. Alright, let's run it out. 200 florins a week. Ah, uh, very good, very good. Don't you worry, college students. Medieval college students. Soon. Soon when Sunni... Sunni. Soon when Cerny Banders, old man Cerny Banders comes into power, he will be paying for your, your education. No, you worry about it. But until then, you're going to be paying him rent. All right, just, uh, you know, just small donations of $22 a week. All right, um, we do not have enough for another labor house now, right? Yeah, that's too bad. I think what we need to do then is acquire more currency because, hold up, report, personal reports. How much did we just get from that? Character report, class information. We got close to, close to the next class, but we're not quite there yet. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, who are these guys? Agonic Militia. Hmm. We just had someone join us. Uh, 111 against 8. Boys, I think we might win this one. Can I command his troops? Can I tell them to back off? I want to do this myself. Nope. Alright, well, let's just try to get at least one kill here. Uh, I'm still using my woodcutter's axe. Alright, well, we're gonna switch right back on over to the cross. Oh, these guys actually have shields! Alright. They might not be horrendous. Might not. 10 damage. Oh my god. They're actually probably pretty tanky then. They only take 10 damage a hit. 19? Alright, that's not bad. We need to get a headshot if we're gonna want to actually kill any of these guys. Alright. Oh no, come on, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him, damn it. I just want one. Trick shot! Can you imagine? Let's get a friendly troop. <laughs> Alright, well. Damn it, I wanted to take those guys on myself and. Fucking, uh, Vuchnik Hakel. It's definitely how his title is pronounced. He just yanked, yoinked all of them. We didn't get it. We, we didn't get any loot for that at all. To be fair, we didn't get any of those kills, so that's understandable. Alright, let me go. Let's go do some hunting. Let's go do some hunting and find some uh, juicy little targets for us to take out. Alright, so there's some Tundra Bandits here, and I don't remember if these guys are ranged or not. If they are, we might be in some trouble here. Uh, well, okay, actually, we can just leave, because technically they weren't following us, we were following them. See you later, comrades, and, uh, no need for us to, uh, escalate things. <laughs> now all of a sudden, after we came up to them, we, I like, I like to imagine, like, we walked up to them, and, uh, we, you know, we're just like, hey, what's up, and they're like, hey, what's up, man, and then we, then we realized we couldn't take them, we started walking away, and they're like, wait a goddamn minute, that man has money, <laughs> and they just started chasing after us. But we're gone. Old man Cerny Banders might not be too fast, but his horse is. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go south. I don't. I don't like these Tundra Bandits. I mean, Sea Raiders wouldn't be in a hor wouldn't be a horrible option. Uh, forest Bandits are kind of kind of suck too, because it's not even with their arrows. It's not like they're ever gonna run out of. Uh... Ooh, look at that rents from residences. Fuck yeah, five hundred florins. So unfortunately, oh, we do get one renown. Nice. We don't get any. Um, any prestige from the rent. We get influence points based on how much money we make. I'm pretty sure. Um, but you only get the prestige from when you buy properties. Which is a little unfortunate. Alright, SWAT and light infantry. This looks likely. And we'd be freeing a farmer. Perfect. Boom. Oh, these guys look tanky. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, no, no, no. Not that map. <laughs> Not that map. Okay, this isn't, I guess this is better just in that I can wait for them to come down to me. Where are they at currently? Over, over here? Alright, I'll wait a sec for them to come down to us. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, one of you guys were, uh, were, you guys were complaining about, or not complaining. You guys were saying, it doesn't feel like, like, why would Bernie be killing these deserters? Like, wouldn't he feel bad for them? As, uh, just, you know, the poor soldiers in the army? And normally, I'd say yes. Old man Cerny Banners would feel very bad for the peasants, the soldiers getting uh, forcibly recruited into Lord's armies and forced into war and whatnot. And if they were just simple deserters, he probably wouldn't judge them too harshly. But these aren't just people who deserted the army and went back home to live their lives. These are people who deserted the army, took the equipment, 
paid for by the peasants and their taxes, and then used it to rob the, the peasants. I, I think the, uh, you know, capital punishment might be a little necessary. Just a little bit necessary. All right, where are these guys at? Oh, there they are. I do love in this mod how <laughs> there's always, like, one enemy that, that is the designated bannerman. And so he just doesn't get any weapons at all. Like, this man just gets shafted. <laughs> it's so unfortunate for him. No shield or anything. Zero damage. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, we might be in some trouble. Alright, 43 damage headshot. Never mind. We should be okay. That sh we should be able to two-shot him to the head, right? Like, he just runs up to me. Stands there. Accepts his fate. <laughs> what a remarkable strategy. Nice little headshot there. Our, I feel like our crossbow is getting a little more accurate. It's worth noting that this uh, crossbow has an accuracy of 99. So once we get a proficiency high enough, this thing should be super accurate. Now, mid admittedly, we only have a 2 in horse archery, and that's the max that we're ever going to get since we're not improving agility. Um, so while we're on horseback, it might be rough, but at least for sieges, we should be able to get decently accurate. Eventually, we are going to be switching over to firearms, though. Some of you guys were asking. Yeah, we are definitely going to be using guns. And uh, for anyone saying, oh, that's not accurate, Cerny Banders doesn't use a gun. Fun fact, he's actually, uh, like, his, his state of Vermont is actually fairly uh, pro-gun. Fairly pro-gun. Like, you know, sensi sensible gun reform. Not banning everything. And not just allowing everything. But, uh... Oh, fuck, that was... I'm, I'm, not, I'm being a little, uh, little risky here for no reason. But I'm just saying, him using firearms is not completely anti, uh, anti-character. Plus, I just really want to use the firearms in this mod, if I'm being honest. So, uh, even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't in character, we would definitely be taking advantage. That was not the guy I was trying to shoot with that at all. I'm a little nervous. I feel, I mean, I feel, we'd have a, I don't know how much damage these guys do. But even if we got knocked off our horse, I feel like we'd be, we wouldn't be fucked. We'd be in a tough a tough situation, but it's not like an instant, oh, we're screwed. Where are these bolts going? I only got 15 left. Have I ever, wait, did I already kill 10 of these guys? Or 5 of these guys, I mean? Okay, there were only, uh, there are only 10 of them, right? Nice, okay. And like, 4 out of these 5 have already been headshot, so. There we go, nice little level up. Ugh. The swords are coming in close. They're coming in close. Nice. So let's get that level up in. Boom! 18 strength. Okay, so there's three more levels. We'll put that into strength, and then we're gonna start pumping the uh, the charisma a little bit. Some of you guys really want me to take the take him up to full scale old man strength of 30, but we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. I think 24 is realistically the highest we're gonna take strength in this series for him. Um, unless there's some way to get a bunch of skill points that I don't know of. I just want to prioritize him getting a decent amount of uh, intelligence and charisma. And the no agility thing is kind of fun. I find, I find that very amusing. He's slow as shit, but man, once he gets to you... Ooh, that was a nice little headshot. We delivered one damage? How did we deliver one damage? What hit was that? Alright. You get the sword, buddy. You waited all this time. You earned it. Zero damage. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, these guys have some tanky armor. Alright. Boom. Get out of here. What are we doing? <laughs> what was that noise? What was that death scream? He was like, nya, nya, nya. And then he sat back up. And then remained dead. I'm so confused. Wait. There are two more enemies. Did they get lost? Alright, let me go on a hunt. Talk shit all you want about him being old. But old man Cerny Banders is climbing this sheer cliff edge. With no problem at all. He's not even using his hands. He's not even using his hands. He just has, oh god, the quads of gods. Alright, come on. Oh, that was a nice little flick headshot there. Wow, this guy moves super fast when he's coming downhill. Stop! I have the high ground swat in light infantry. This is this is kind of weird fighting on the edge of a fucking cliff. Oh, okay, you coming for me? I was gonna pull out my crossbow and just shoot you. Ooh. Okay, good shot, good shot. 
Oh, fuck. This is not ideal. I blocked! I blocked to the left! No! Wait, hold up. Okay. Thank God. We Because we are at close to full health at the beginning of that battle, we have just a slim bit of health, and we can take out the second, and we can go in for a second wave. Whew. I did not want our... Whoops, I just accidentally paused the recording. Uh, okay, I think we're back. It sucks, I only brought home one of my monitors, because I was only going to be home for, you know, seven days. Um, and I was a bit of a... Bit, I was in a bit of a rush coming home on Thursday, because, uh, I didn't think I had work on Thursday, and I got told that I, I was supposed to be there working. So I had to quick throw everything together that I could last a week at home, uh, pack up, and then try to get to work as soon as possible. <laughs> Even though it was like a two-hour drive. So yeah, I only have one monitor, so I, I can't see my recording software um, right now. So I think I'm recording. I sure hope I'm recording. I should probably check after this battle. I really probably should. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, boom! Victory! Wasn't even close. Farmer, join me, lad. Oh, this is probably a good time to mention. Should have mentioned this in the beginning of the episode. Uh, we will be doing subscriber heroes for this mod. Uh, for those of you who don't know what those are, um, I stream fairly often on this channel. Uh, and a lot of the times, I use I stream to play games that like I wouldn't normally make series on like make videos of uh so i actually like a lot of dungeons and dragons style games so right now we're playing through we're almost done with pathfinder kingmaker but anyways whenever i stream sometimes i stream mountain blade full invasion stuff like that uh if you watch and you're commenting in the stream you uh you slowly earn dinars right and uh with those dinars you're able to gamble in said stream oh yes battered heraldic armor Oh, it's black and gold. Those are my favorite colors, too. Woo! Yes, sir. Uh, ooh, better sword, maybe? Yes, better. Oh, no. 81 weapon reach. Get that peasant shit out of here. Pathetic. Anyhow, you're able to gamble with those dinars, and the odds are actually in your favor for gambling. Like, I think I did the math. For every one dinar you gamble, on average, you're getting back two dinars. <laughs> so it's in your guys' favor. Um, I think it's you gain like 20 dinars every five minutes, something like that, if you're watching and commenting in the stream. And uh, so you can gamble or whatever. And if you earn 10,000 dinars, uh, you get yourself a subscriber hero, which is very fun. Basically what it is is whenever I get a hero in a, uh, in a series, um, when I'm streaming and you reach 10, 10k dinars, you say, Hey VMP, I want this hero and I want you to name him blah blah blah, whatever you want. And obviously, I have the uh, <laughs> I have the authority to veto names, so don't put like you know dumbass names or, or extremely inappropriate names. I mean, we did have Girthquake Gendry in the last World of Fire uh, season, so like a little bit is okay. But you know, I'm not even gonna say <laughs> I'm not even gonna say a potential name that would not be allowed in efforts to not get demonetized. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. And then you guys can you guys can give me like general. Um, general outlines for like how you want that hero to get leveled up and whatnot whether you want to be a fighter you want to be the healer you know whatever the case may be but yeah it's a lot of fun uh so i think there's already like five or six people right now who have ten thousand dinars waiting and ready to go to get new heroes um so yeah if you want to do that hop into a stream i've had people go from zero dinars to 10k dinars in a single stream before so it is definitely doable how much money did we just make off that a decent amount 7k florins so if we check out the, the property over here it's different prices it's i mean they're kind of close like it was 9100 over there it's 9600 over here for a labor house so it's pretty close all right well let's uh let's keep on doing some more fighting that's working pretty well oh also i don't think i showed it last time because it was like in between tournaments uh but we did get another trait it's loyal basically what it does is you gain one percent renown per week upon staying in a kingdom I'm not sure why we're getting it right now. Why we're gaining that renown per week since we're not even in a kingdom. But, um, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> not going to complain. It's not a big deal for us right now. We're getting 1% of 100 is only one. Uh, but later on in the series, when we have like several thousand renown, that's actually going to be pretty clutch. Pretty nice. And I, once again, I think these, these, some of the traits progress. So you might be able to go from loyal to like truly loyal. And that'd be like 2% renown per week. So. Once again, 
very interesting. It is important to uh, keep a decent amount of cash on you at all times because during those pop-up events, some of them require money. Otherwise, you get negative uh, traits. Someone said uh, in the comments there that uh, for those pop-up events, we should always choose the honorable option. Yep, that goes without saying. We're definitely going to be doing that. Don't worry. But uh, anyhow, let me, let's me let go find another fight. Fuck, I ran into these guys. I didn't even mean to. Oh, these are just some looters. This is going to be... Uh Oh, I forgot we had you... All right, somebody needs to name this guy. What are we naming? What are we naming the farmer? Frank, Frank the tank, something like that. We must protect it. Wow, we are looking dapper. Woo! Yes, best looking seventy-seven year old, if you ask me. Oh, that was so close. It, like skimmed his head. What the fuck? How am I missing? <laughs> How am I missing that horrendously? Come on. Come on. All right. That was uncalled for. 22 damage, that's it. Why do these guys have such good armor? And I wish the armor was worth more, man. We really don't make too much off of it. That's the worst part. All right. Let me work down these guys a little bit. And then we'll come back when I'm almost done. I, seriously, I can't get enough of, of the noises these guys make, man. It's so weird. Especially sometimes the death noises, man. It's... Between the death noises and like the the positions they take when they die I like I love the mod creator that did so much for this for this mod so many great gameplay dish. Look what was that? What was that? That man was full-on laying down looked pretty like a pretty realistic death And then he just boom comes forward looks like he's still alive. <laughs> I Just I don't know I can understand a mod creator looking at him being like I want to make some more realistic looking, you know uh What's it called? Uh, ragdoll effects when when uh, when entities die or whatever. But then he made this, and his thought wasn't, okay, it didn't work out. Let's take it out. He was, we're keeping this. This right here, this is a realistic portrayal of what people do when they die. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. Okay, now we're getting armor. Holy shit! All right. Uh, nice. This that'll actually be worth quite a decent amount. Oh, one of the reasons a lot of the shit isn't selling for much is because we're uh, we're Jewish and we're taking a negative 50% penalty on all of our prices at basically every single town. That is a pretty decent nerf right there. That is a pretty decent and quite annoying nerf, if I'm being honest. All right. Oh, let's keep it up. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll get to we'll get to level 11 and, and cap out strength at 21 pretty soon here. Um, firearms is its own skill. Maybe I should start putting some in there. Like crossbow, that'll That'll train itself. Firearms, we want to get a decent amount before we get one. Otherwise, it's not even going to be worth it when we when we do finally get one. And supposedly, they are available right now. The only way you can get them is like a uh, traveling merchant in taverns, um, like the firearms dealer. We're not going to do that right away. Us getting a gun this early would probably be a little overpowered. Um, and I'm sure it's quite expensive, so we're not going to worry about that for the time being. Another rule someone suggested was uh, if we ever are, are going to sell and like the town keep or the, the trader doesn't have enough money as uh, being a charitable person, we should just give him whatever the difference is and just say, oh, fine, that's, you know, whatever. I think that's a decent idea. I mean, this isn't like uh, per, like Pendor or whatever, where they only have a couple thousand and you you normally have to go to a couple different town keeps or I don't know why I keep on saying town keeps. You got to go to a couple different traders to sell off all your loot. I mean, this one, he's got 15 grand here, all right? I'm not too worried about that. So if that ever comes up, sure, we'll do that. Oops, I was not looking where I was going, and we ran into some elite crossbowmen. Yikes. Uh, okay. All right. How many? Seven. Frank the Tank? Godspeed. <laughs> no, get the fuck out of here, Frank. I don't want to see you die. Uh, I will try my best here, but man... I don't know. We are low on HP. What's I can't even do like the first aid because we don't have enough. I'm trying to. It won't let me. Oof. Big oof. Oh wait, what? I can inspire my troops. Interesting. Uh, those guys up? I heard them firing. Oh, they're firing at Frank. Frank's doing his job. Oh, okay. Now they're looking at me. I don't like that. Oh, they're squishy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take out your... No, no, put the crossbows away, lads. Put the crossbows away. 
I want a firearms band on any crossbow that can fire more than one bolt per, uh, per minute. Alright? No civilian needs something with more firepower than that in their hands. Yeah, you like that? Just start out your banner boy. Oh, these guys are not super accurate. <laughs> this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, we are still a one-shot, so like... Ooh, can't get touched. But at least these guys are pretty squishy. Oh no, not like this, not like this. Oh, he hit me. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Woo! 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 <laughs> Oh, I can hear Frank cheering for us over there. Thanks, Frank. You did great over there as, as the target for them. They didn't hit you, did they? He looks alive. Boom. 13 right now, not too shabby. Oh, and the, the following grows. Frank has now become a watchman. <laughs> Good job, Frank. Oh, shit, we're losing a lot of loot by having these people with us. Alright, maybe I'm gonna go do a tournament to make enough money for us to get another house. That's probably a lot more time efficient. Alright, these little boys wanted to, uh, get in our way. Charge in! Go get them, lads. Oh, fuck, this is dark out. Alright, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this. I'll come back towards the end. I don't think these guys have any, uh, have any shields, so this should be pretty easy. Alright, I have worked them down as much as I could. Uh... There's still four of them left. Two of them are just the Bannermen. So obviously those guys are real easy. These guys are tanks. They're worth 320 XP. Put that into perspective. The, the looters were, were, were worth like 20. Alright, these guys are not, not shabby. Alright? <laughs> Cannot sleep on these guys. Um, they're very tanky as well. As you can see, I mean, a, like a full speed hit right there. We're only doing 24 damage with the sword. The crossbow was occasionally only doing like one damage to the body to these guys. So it was only headshots and I'll be honest... I'm just fucked up and we got captured. No! Oh, I was doing so well. They took my crossbow. Oh, that hurts. That hurts big time. And my bolts. And my fucking axe. I don't care about the axe too much, actually. But all right, come on. We're taking. We're getting Frank back. We are getting Frank back. I'm determined. <sighs> Big money. No whammies. Oh my god, this is stressful. <laughs> I actually had to leave that first attempt, or well, I guess I leave that second battle with them to heal up, and I'm glad I did because. That, those few extra HP that I healed up allowed me to tank a shot from them that nearly killed me and the horse in a single hit. We're down to the last one. God, please don't fail me now. Okay. Oh, oh, 42 damage. That's a big blow. Oh, oh that was so close. Oh, man. We did it. Oh. Let's level up, too. Um... Wound treatment because I'm so damn hurt. Shit, we're probably not gonna be able to make that tournament now. Probably gonna have to do a different tournament. Oh wait, what am I doing? Boop. That firearms. Awesome. 17 renown. Well learned if you ask me. Welcome back, Frank. We're gonna pretend that Frank wasn't the guy we leveled up into a uh <laughs> into a what's it called? A watchman. Alright, well, I'll take that back. We got our axe back. We got everything back. Did we get the money back? Nope. Got 512 florins, so that's not too bad. Damn, if only we'd won that first one, we would have gotten a ton of money, man. Alright, well, we're over by Sunos now. Let's, uh... I mean... We can, we might as well see. Like, right? We might as well just see if the tournament's still going on in Eldarius. It'd be nice. I really doubt it, but uh, yeah, it might be. Unsightly! Oh my god! We're getting uglier and uglier! This is the upgraded version of ugly! Anyone who marries us gets negative 1,000 influence! This man's visage is not just ugly, it is difficult to look him in the eye! Alright, come on. Cerny Banders is not that ugly. Come There wasn't even... 
There wasn't even an event that caused that. They're just like, nah, man, you, you ugly, ugly. <laughs> you, you unsightly. <laughs> man, that's harsh. That's harsh. Uh, any good weapons? <sighs> oh, I like the look of that heavy bastard sword. It's got 10 more reach, way more damage. And it's just straight up one-handed. Fuck yeah, we're gonna buy that. The sword of justice right there. Nice. Any uh, good... I guess... Uh, we're, unless we find like a masterwork hunting crossbow, we're not gonna really have an upgrade that we can use on horseback. Ooh, those bolts are better though. Iron bolts? We'll take that. And we'll leave these down here, just in case uh, there's ever a battle where we need to have extra, extra ammo. So we can go the double ammo route and just drop our uh, our shield. Wait, fuck, I didn't ask to see what other uh, tournaments are going on. Because that's how we're going to end off this episode with uh, a little tournament, getting another uh, another house, and calling it there. Oh, that's disappointing. Alright, well, I mean, we need some time to heal off anyways. Alright, these damn mountain bandits ambushed us. There's 17 of them, which does seem like a decent amount. But I see this as the perfect opportunity to try out our new sword, and holy fuck, this thing is doing work already oh my god the reach alone is amazing and it does way more damage oh that's a lot of javelins coming my way all right uh yeah let's just wait for them to be done throwing those all right looks like most of them ran out luckily not all these guys had bows only like probably five of them or so actually had bows there we go oh the range on this sword the girth i mean the length is just incredible <laughs> oh. He wow, what a play. They hid behind that guy hid behind his teammate, knowing that that guy was going to get sliced in half in order to disguise his own blow. Honestly respectable. Oh, farmer just died. Yikes. All right, I'm finishing these boys off. I'm finishing what I started. Fuck, we are going to have like no HP for this tournament. Oh, I might have to wait for another tournament. I might have to wait for another tournament. So we can actually heal up. How are we actually in this battle right now with like... How much HP do we have? Two! We have two! Why are we... Why are we even allowed to fight right now? I don't understand. Okay. Alright, who's got ranged weapons? Fuck, a lot of these guys do. Oh, juicy headshot. That's what you like to see. Oh, almost another one. Alright, let's just take out the bow. Actually, no, fuck it. I want to take out that guy. That guy's what caused their downfall last battle. Ooh. Alright. Just one ranged guy left. That's it. Okay, well, oh my. I keep on firing over their shoulders. Actually, I take that back. There's two of them. That guy has javelins. We're in the chest. 31 damage. Not bad. Alright. I'm getting nervous from all these projectiles. Alright. We don't quite have that range. Oh, be careful, Sonny boy. I was very close to taking you out. Alright. Let's go back a little bit. The no horse archery is really annoying. It makes it kind of frustrating to try to train these guys around. Because you can't really look back and shoot. This is as far, like, of an angle I can look from. You know what I mean? We can still charge the enemy. How am I still able to fight? We have zero HP. What is this? What is this? We can fight with zero HP? As long as Frank the Tank is around? Is, is Frank a necromancer? Is he bringing us back to life? Our dead body? We just constantly get beaten up and he's just like, Get back out there, old man, Cerny Banders. <laughs> uh, okay, this is kind of weird. And we are definitely not in the shape to win a tournament now. But, um, huh. I had, you know what, I, I had a feeling, and I was going to make a comment, like, watch that archer actually hit this shot on us, and then he did. Then he hit that shot on us. Good for that archer. <laughs> and there's, there's Frank's cheers. Maybe that's not even his cheers of approval. Maybe that's how he casts his uh, necromancy spells and raises us from the dead. It's just him yelling.
to us it just sounds like yelling, but it's actually like intelligible, you know, in enchantments and whatnot. Oh, uh, there we go. I got a little bit of cash, not too bad. Uh, where, where am I headed? Zendar, I want to say. Zendar is where the tournament is, but man, I don't like our odds. I don't like our odds at all with 1% HP. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay, it's been a couple days. We're up to 31%. I, I think that's enough for us to take a stab at it. We're not going to go for the win on this one, all right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do what we did a couple tournaments ago before we started going all out for the win. Let's dial it back down to the two teams of six and go for five points. That's great. Payout of 1,000 florins. We're only betting 75. Great odds. Even if we only do that, you know, three or four of the six rounds, then we should be able to uh, purchase a house and be done. All right, let's try this thing out. We are very low on HP. Uh, we, we do actually need to be careful here. And five points is not nothing. We do need to get two kills here. It's not necessarily easy, but oh, wow, 68 damage. Oh, man, I can already feel it. Our blows hold some weight now. Well, 22, that wasn't great, but there we go. Uh, well, still 24, but, you know... <laughs> We're doing we're doing some work now. We're doing all right. We're not complete scrubs anymore. Uh, oh, there we go. Boom, boom. Good stuff. <laughs> a thousand florins right there. I mean, that's we're making more off of bets than we're making from actually winning the damn tournament. Um, Sir Gerlock somehow got seven points, even though he only got five points when he was in our round. Whatever, whatever. That's fine. We're not we're not salty. Not yet, at least. <laughs> I was getting salty last night. You see, that was my mistake. I would. Oh, fuck. I thought we, like, died there somehow. Well, we did die there somehow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he went through our horse and took us out at the same blow. Alright. Rip. rip a -ronies. Yeah, I was getting salty last night. Partially because I was recording at, like, 5 or 6 in the morning at that point. I just wanted to be done. And we were just getting some unfortunate tournaments, man. Unfortunate tournaments. Alright, hurry up. Let's be done. Captain Pasquale. He's about to shoot up the leaderboards. Damn, he had five kills by himself. Yeah, eight points for him. Um, luckily, Sir, Sir Gerlach didn't get uh, any more points. So that's fine. Whew, 13 for Captain Pasquale. He's going to be hard to catch now. Alright, come on. We're not, once again, I'm not looking for the win. It'd be nice if we can get top three and get a little extra, you know little extra cheddar for that. But we just want to win four of these rounds in terms of bets. If we can get four 1,000 dinar payoffs, we're going to be in great shape. Okay, we've already got the necessary kills. Now we just got to finish out the round. What do you got, Bo? Oh, very nice hit there. I'm surprised I didn't knock him out. We were going full speed opposite each other, and that was a clean hit. There we go. Oh, that was past well. That was Pasquale, beautiful. He didn't get any kills this time. Now they're still going to cheat in and give him some points, but he didn't deserve them. Nice. And four kills for us. That's awesome. That's very good. Pasquale got zero. He should have gotten zero points, and they didn't give him any points. Nice. We shot up into the, into the second. We're just back by one now. We're doing great. Doing great. All right, everybody chill back here. Mm, they have three people on foot this time. I like it when they just have two people. That's enough that, like, when we're going full speed right here, we can... Ooh, hello. He tried to do something there. Didn't work out, though. Yeah, I can already feel. The the power strike is coming in clutch. Would we have seven power strike now? I can feel it. Our blows actually feel like they're doing damage. It's a great feeling to have, as opposed to when you're swinging and it's just, like, bouncing off their armor. That feels bad. <laughs> that feels real bad. Alright, now remember, we can't get hit here. Oh, Captain Pasquale already got points too. Alright, we really need to... Really want to win this one. Nice. There. Oh, there goes Pasquale. Alright, so at least he won't be... Even if we lose now, he won't be getting the extra three points for surviving the round. Come here. Someone come here. Stop it. Nice, good hit. Turn it around. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, let's take out the range guy at least. Nice. 
Oh, this is a huge round for us. We're gonna get all six. We're gonna sweep them. We're gonna ace. That actually was a bad move. I shouldn't have just let the horse tank that. If he had one shot of the horse, we would have been knocked to the ground. He would have finished us there. But nine points. That's max points right there. Dominant presence. Legendary presence. That's our first time getting that one. 420 XP. <sighs> Blaze it, baby. That's what we like to see. Two more to go. <laughs> Please. Don't choke. Don't choke now. Alright. They didn't have... Everybody's on horseback this time. Alright. Still, still worth it for us to come back from this angle. No, that's such unfortunate timing. And he hit that shot? We're moving. It's not like we weren't stationary yet. There we go. Oh, that was passed well. Nice. All right. That's exactly what we want to take out. Why are all you guys fucking cab archers this round? It's annoying. Good. Before he gets up, thank you. Last guy right here. Me and Sir Gerlock are popping off. Nice. Three apiece for us. That's what we like to see. I don't know where Sir Gerlock is in the rankings. Now, he moved up a lot there, but he wasn't that high. Alright, it's almost impossible for us to lose it at this point. But, <laughs> just wait. That's not going to stop me. Oh, I whiffed that. If that was our new bastard sword, that would have been a hit and most likely a kill. Alright, there we go. That's one. Hurt him. Then I come in for the clean. Let me clean. There we go. Oh, huge hit. He's done. And that's the tournament right there. That's awesome. That's a great way to end off this episode. Boom. We level up two. Standings, 32 to their 23. We get 4,000 florins, another 850 XP, 24 renown, some tobacco, and all the money. I and mean, we only lost one round, right? Yeah, we have 16k now. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, Investing in some gauntlets might be a smart idea. We've got the money. Yeah, we've got the money. All right, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a pair of gauntlets. I mean, that's just plus seven to body armor. That's pretty significant for us, and it just looks good. We're actually looking dapper as fuck right now. Um, but more importantly, manage some property. Wait, wait, go back, actually. Join the feast. Oh, no, they still won't let me in, even though I won your goddamn tournament. Well, at least we can buy another. Whoa, the labor houses are stupid cheap here. Why? We can almost afford to get a patrician mansion. We can afford to get two of these houses. All right, there's one. Run that bad boy out. And then... Get the other one. Run that boy out too. So we just got 68 prestige points, and that should put us over 200. And rank us up. Good evening. Your efforts have been rewarded, and you may call yourself a journeyman now. It's official, boys. We are no longer in the lower class. I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think we were actually technically below the lower class <laughs> previously. Now we are a journeyman. Uh, you do not hold any title. Journeymen are people who completed an apprenticeship. He's fully educated in trade or craft, but not yet a master. Journeymen tend to live in towns serving their guild. So now we need basically another 100 prestige for the next one. We're actually going to be making a decent amount of money off of all this uh, land we've gotten so far. You can't buy land in the normal way in this mod. Um, like, you can't just walk up to a guild master and buy a die works. There is a way that you can get a die works, um, but you really have to work for it. It's not as easy as in native. And so we might actually do that next episode. Uh, but anyhow, we're going to end this one off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series. Um... Prophecy of Pandora, probably going to not have an episode out for that until I come back. So I work for the next three days. Um, and then after that, I'll be going back up to Allendale for a couple days where I will uh, be chilling and I won't have any work. So I'll probably be able to stream there and uh, hopefully finish off Prophecy of Pandora, get close to it. Um, so who knows? I might actually stream for you guys tomorrow. I'll just have to see. But anyhow, as always, take it easy, lads.